this demonstration of the solid state relay function. When LVDAC is fully open, left click on the thyristor control application here to open it. Then, under function selection, select solid state relay from the list by clicking on it. Now let's take a look at the settings of this function. Zero voltage switching. This setting forces the solid state relay to start conducting only when the voltage at both ends is equal. You can turn this on or off. Relay control. Opens or closes the relay. Q1 and Q4, the two thyristors. You can choose relay control or always on or off for troubleshooting. Status. As usual, this indicates if the function is started or not. This button here is used to start or stop the function, and this one is used to open or close the relay. Here is the electrical diagram of the function. Note the position of meter E4 and connect it as shown for this function to work properly. There is also the show connection button to help you reconnect your hardware equipment. In industry, a solid state relay is an electronic switching device designed to switch power to a load using a small command signal. Comparable to a mechanical relay, the solid state relay has no moving parts which allows it to switch power on and off at a faster rate and in complete silence. Some of them are equipped with a voltage sensor, preventing switching power when the voltage at each side of the solid state relay is not equal. As you'll see, this function is really useful to observe and understand the operation of a real solid state relay. When your equipment is correctly connected, start the function. The yellow curve here is the source voltage. The blue curve is the voltage at the load. And finally, the purple curve is the signal sent to Q1. Note that for this demonstration, I'm using a resistive load. As you see, when the relay is open, no power runs through the load. Using the hardware trigger of the scope, I'll be able to see what happens as soon as I switch the relay to close. As expected, it starts to conduct regardless of the voltage between the source and the load. This is because the zero voltage switching is off. Let's turn this option on. Now, when I switch the relay to the close position, the voltage sensor E4 will wait until the voltage at A and B is equal. As you can see, when I close the relay, the signal at the load always begins at zero volts, preventing inrush current which could damage the load. Even if I do it several times, it always conducts at zero volts. I suggest you try this experiment with a capacitive load to see the real impact of the zero voltage switching option. That's it for the solid state relay.